It's the largest international surfing competition in the world, and it's happening right now in La Jolla. Oh, what's it called? A didgeridoo. Okay, take a listen to this. One hundred and twenty physically challenged surfers from twenty four countries all compete for the title of world's best. We go through life and go through society and we're always explaining what's going on with us and like how it happened and whatnot. We come to this and we meet people from around the world that are just like us and like it's not about our disability. It's about surfing. Once you get in the wave it's it's all about you know feel and staying loose and keeping balanced and uh, getting up to your feet, you know? So it's, it's, a, it's a good time, I'm enjoying it. I'm walking in this uh, parade of nations right now here with Team USA, and I love the chant, because the chant is blue, white, red, let's go shred. The physical challenges of these athletes range from single or even double amputees to athletes who are blind. Despite their challenge, nothing is stopping them from going for the gold, something spectators say is inspiring. I was going to sleep last night, I thought, I am so lucky. I've got these two legs and they're working mm -hmm. and I'm able to do this in here, but I've never tried to surf. And here are these people surfing. I mean, this is the kind of news we need. After the parade, each nation mixes together sand from their country in something called the Sands of the World Ceremony. Sands from Konohamamiya. This symbolic gesture represents peace and unity between every athlete and every country. In La Jolla, Ginger Jeffries, KUSI News.